Ilo kar ibu jele bele beo, yar ibu jin, imarong wale ma wachi marok kai, aluk pun laban, uwe to kore nu ole ben, ngai bo jelo yale, jik, yo to kaul ik, loan, yale jen, mo luke yo to kom, marong, e bo yan par nu ti arta. Eh, marong tuli kuno to mayan mamaro, no warar wal manar ta kan, mayan mamaro, no e wan di kita kam, ta bare. In the Pacific, everyone is getting affected by climate change. Extreme weather patterns are occurring a lot more frequently in our paradise and the severity of the impacts continue to increase. This is a story about the people of Ano, a remote atoll in the Republic of the Marshall Islands Atoll islands are very low-lying and as a result, the risk of disasters like waves crashing into the island and causing damage and loss of life is a reality the people of the Pacific face. In Ano, this happened in 2012, with many of the community waking up to waves crashing into their homes, stripping them of water tanks and household goods. Inundation refers to the overflow of water into an area that is normally dry. This inundation that caused damage to the people of Ano in 2012 was caused by high sea swells coinciding with an already high sea level. This type of disaster was made worse in 2015 when a drought hit the country making it even harder for the community to access clean drinking water as a lot of their water tanks were pulled out to sea during the 2012 inundation. When um, you know, children go to the church, you can go to the church, and 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 you can go to the church, the Rir Lap Lap community in the Arno Atoll is two hours away by speedboat from the country's capital, Majuro. While this community may seem isolated, Arno is actually the closest and most accessible atoll outside of the nation's capital. After the inundation of 2012, 22 water tanks were donated to the communities of the Arno Atoll. Transportation costs alone to move the tanks from Majuro to Arno came to 92,000 US dollars. A total of 217 water tanks were purchased and donated to 14 different adult communities all over the Republic of the Marshall Islands. The water tanks were installed just before the country suffered a major drought between 2015 to 2016. In the country, you will see it on a map that each island really segregate or really far from each other. So that's one of the challenges that um, we faced and this is one of the um, main important reason why these tanks have played an important role in assisting the National Disaster Management Office. These water tanks have not only assisted in the um, response phase, but also in the longer term um, road ahead of us. If the water tanks and rain harvesting systems are installed correctly, only a few days of good rainfall can supply a family with months of clean drinking water. Climate change will continue to affect the Republic of the Marshall Islands drastically and while the discussion of relocation continues to surface, it is not a simple solution. The complexity of the land tenure system here and before a donor can understand, they have to understand that kind of complexity. Uh, we have three tiers of land ownership. 
and it's not easy to just move people. The people own the land. Government does not have land where they can just move people somewhere. It is predicted that droughts are going to increase for atoll areas. The most immediate, effective and sustainable response is to continuously build the safety and resilience of the people that are at the forefront of the battle against our changing climate.